everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am a mom to five. My three oldest are in school. Actually, my fourth child is starting homeschool this fall as well. But so far for the past couple years, I've had three that I am homeschooling. And today I want to address what I do with our school books, what I do with our kids' workbooks once they're completed. I am definitely somewhat sentimental and I like to keep some of what they've done. I love to see their little handwriting when they're first learning to write letters in kindergarten, when they start cursive, how they color, how they print their numbers when they're doing math problems. I love to keep that and I love to be able to look back and see those memories. But I also am somewhat minimal. I like to um, not keep tons and tons of books because that would be a lot of books by the time my five kids are done school. And so I'm always keeping that in mind. I don't wanna keep a ton of clutter, but I wanna keep some. Now, depending on where you live, you may have to keep track of a lot of your kids' accomplishments, what they have completed in school. You may have to hand in um, reports of how they have done and what they have completed. Where I live, it's very lenient. And so depending on where you live, you may have to keep track of more than I have to keep track of. For me, I am just keeping for my own sake, for my own memory, for my my kids to see as they get older. I don't have to show anything um, at all. So I am just keeping what I want to be able to look back on later. But you'll want to keep that in mind for what schoolwork of your kids that you keep. So at the beginning of our school year, all of my kids get a binder and they get to decorate the front of their binder however they want. I give them a paper. They have stickers and stamps and markers and all the fun stuff and that they decorate that page however they want to and I slip it in the front of the binder. During the school year in their binder, I have some reproducible pages for our history, for our geography, just extra writing practice. And then of course they have all their other school books as well. Um, first day of school, we do a first day of school interview. We take a first day of school picture and then we do the same thing on the last day of school. So once our school year is completed, I gather, I sit down at the table, it takes me quite a bit of time, but I just gather all of their schoolwork. As I'll show you in a video clip here, my kids have a lot of junk in their school buckets. I think I found socks in Elijah's school bucket and Lego and just random papers and pretty messy, but I sort through all that and I take out all their school books as well as their binders. Then I start going through their school books and just figuring out what pages I wanna keep. So for instance, in a writing book, I might keep five or six pages out of their math book five or six pages, maybe more, depending how many subjects they have. And I do like to find a page that is nice and neat to keep, but also I don't mind if it shows their true personality at that age. So whether they are really messy or they like to doodle all over their pages or what have you, I like to kind of embrace their um, this stage of life that they're in as well. But I just pick out a few of our favorite pages in each one of their books, rip those out, hole punch everything, and then I start to assemble um, their binders and all of the schoolwork for the year all I keep is one binder full of some pages. I don't have a whole bunch of books I keep. Of course, I do keep our textbooks, but as far as their workbook pages, all I keep for each year is just one binder. And when you think about it, for five kids times 12 years of school, if we homeschool all the way through 12 years, that's still what? Quick math here, 60 binders that I'm gonna have at the end of um, homeschooling. So it's still lots, um, but I do have one binder here. I chose Simeon's, my kindergartner, to show you today. He just finished kindergarten and I assembled his binder, so I'm gonna show you how it all looks. So here is his binder. His color for our homeschool is yellow. That's his favorite color. Here is the page that he decorated on the first day of school. So that's how he decorated it. And then inside the book, what I put on the front page is just his name, the year, and what grade he was in. And then here is his first day of school interview. I have his page with his picture, but I have not printed up his first day of school, first day of kindergarten picture yet. I have, I have it, I just haven't gotten it printed. I am so behind on that kind of stuff. And then I just went through and cho chose some fun things to keep. So here's a calendar page. A couple pages he colored for our um, Making Brothers and Sisters Best Friends, and so those are just a couple things 
that I thought would be fun to keep. Um, and then after that, I have some pages from his writing book. So we do handwriting without tears. And so again, I just ripped out a whole bunch of pages that I really liked and wanted to keep of his, some of his coloring. And then after all of his writing pages, just I, I like to show a variety of stuff. So a variety of different, you know, numbers he's colored, things he's, or numbers he's written, pictures he's colored, um, how he writes his name. There's a page in here where he was writing his name. And just lots of different mementos that I feel like I can look at and really get a good grasp of how he was writing at this age, how he was understanding math, how he was coloring and all that fun stuff. So then after his writing, he only has in kindergarten writing, reading, and math. And so I do have more pages for each subject for him than I do, let's say, for the older kids who had history and geography pages in their binder as well. So then I got just a few pages from his math book as well. So again, just seeing how he wrote his numbers. So cute to look back on. I have a whole bunch of pages here, him writing out his numbers all the way from zero to 20. Quite a few math pages I kept for him this year. Um, some coloring, and then after his math book, um, I just kept a few lines of him writing his numbers out, and then we went through and did all of his letters, all the way through the alphabet. And then at the very end, after this, I have his final day of school interview. So he had to write his name and then a lot of different questions that I just asked him and wrote down the answers. And again, I am so bad at keeping up on printing pictures, but here is where I will paste his final day of school interview. So that is how my kindergartner's book looks. Um, of course, I did one as well for my first grader and for my third grader, and they included a bit more um, subjects besides just the main three, writing, reading, and math. But that is all I keep, and I think that that is a good overview of how their year looked without keeping everything and taking up so 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 much space so that's all we keep for every school year in the fall we start another binder first day of school decorate they do the interview and then through the school year we you know do our regular thing and then at the end i compile a overview of their year again let me know what you do for your homeschooled students um, what you keep, how much you keep. This I find works really well for us, but I'd be interested to know how you guys keep your schoolwork or what the laws are if you have to be providing information. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more homeschool content, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.